He is currently best, the business development manager, Greens Philippines, the business development manager of Euron Philippines, and the business development manager of American Technologies Incorporated Philippines. So I would like to welcome Mr. Kevin Christopher Cole. everyone to try out their eyes first before we start uh, doing our talk because I don't want everyone to be tired number one uh, medyo heavy yung, yung lecture ni Coach Joseph but it's actually quite similar to what I'm, uh, I will be talking about okay. what does Greens do? is anyone here familiar with Greens already? why is it different from Zojiroshi? why is it different from Tiger? why is it um, ano yun? 3D? yung pinakamurang rice cooker 500 pesos uh, why is it different from there? Actually, when the Japanese invented the modern rice cooker, it wasn't actually the way we used to cook it. Yung sinaunang panahon, iba yung pagluto natin ng bigas. Um, if you ask, um, who's from the province and not from Manila? Here. Anyone? What province are? Huh? Where are you from? Marinduque. Marinduque. May, uh, na-observe mo ba before, ma'am, yung pagluto ng ano natin? ng lolo mo or lola mo before. Hindi mo na na-observe. Well, probably most of you are familiar with the rice cooker, but uh, you're not familiar with how we cook it back in the provinces. Actually, ginagamit nila pang gatong, di ba? Because they put it in a pot, excess water, the grains are there. But what happens when, uh, before siya kumulok, yung tubig? Yung excess water, tinatapon. Because that contains now the slowly digestible starch and the rapidly digestible starch. But if you boil it, you'll leak both. If you don't boil it, you're only gonna leak mostly the rapidly digestible starch, which is what we call the bad starch. So, in all honesty, there's no point for us selling the product if everyone was cooking the same way. But the problem is, with uh, the problem with convenience, who here cooks the same way? When I ask you the question, no one is familiar with it. Exactly, this is exactly the problem with modern society. We're too dependent on appliances. This makes life uh, easier, basically. So the motivation and the inspiration behind the revocal process, uh, that's what grains does, is actually yung pagluto nila ng sinaunang maghod. Which is, we share the same culture practically with Malaysia and Indonesia. Yung pinanggalingan natin pareho rin. So they know our problems more than anyone else. So that's why when they invented this product, it's quite similar uh, with the idea that you can sell it to the Filipinos. Okay. First step is called thermosense. Uh, what it does is sense the perfect temperature for you to leak the amylopectin. Not, uh, not the amylosa. The amylosa has very, very, very slight uh, reduction. Mostly amylopectin is what we're trying to get rid of. So what is amylopectin? Uh, Joy, paki kuha lang yung tray, yung catch basin. So, you'll see it's a very complicated machine inside. So, after you find a certain temperature, it's not just about boiling, you have to keep the temperature to a constant level, which is defined by our sensors. So, the thermosense is a patented technology, no one can just copy it. At the same time, no one can just do it. So, if you have next year na 3D, na ganyan, uh, kayo kasi hindi yun yung toho, probably. It took them 10 years to get this um, technology perfected because it's a sensor, that's why it's very expensive. Number three, after you're done cooking, uh, it's not even done cooking, you're just trying to get rid of the starch. Once you're done uh, leaking out the starch, you can already drain this uh, starch rich water. This is what you can see now. Uh, can I have a glass, please? Yung clear. May clear ba dyan? So can everyone see this one? Ayan, ito na lang. So this is actually the starch. So this is actually the starch. Can you see it? Parang buko juice. If you cook rice regularly, this is what you're eating alongside the rice. 
with a regular rice cooker, it actually also leaks out the starch, but not to the same efficiency. But the problem is, what, what regular rice cookers do is that it cooks the water, it boils off the water, so all the starch that's been leaked into this water stays inside the rice cooker. So what's the point? You still eat it after. Instead of being inside the rice grain, it's actually surrounding the rice now. What does grains do? It actually drains the water. So no rice cooker in the world does this. Okay? There's no rice cooker in the world that does this. So it's the only rice cooker in the world that can do this. So pag sinabi ng Zoji Roshi, ah, 27k na yung rice cooker namin, we can do the same thing. Don't believe them. You ask them this question, does it drain the starch away from the rice? Okay. Number four, what happens now when you drain, what's the biggest problem now once you drain this water? Then hidaw yung bigas. Hidaw yung kanin mo. And it's not going to be desirable. So grains, what, had, uh, what, what they had in mind, is to add another step, which is what we call the demoist stage, wherein everything is selected. Uh, every the quality and texture and taste of your rice will be dependent on the settings that you put, that you input inside the rice cooker. So, uh, has anyone here tried cooking with a regular rice cooker? I'm sure everyone knows. How do you control the texture and the, the quality of your rice? Water to rice ratio, oh, right? So, you sir, ilan yung tapal mo naman? Dalawa. Dalawang bigas. Bigas. Oh, Ilang tapos. tubig. Uh, hindi tatlo. Dalawa din. It's Dalawa din. One to one. How about you, ma'am? Ilan yung sa'yo? Tatlo. Tatlong... Tatlong... Tatlong tubig to one to one water. That's actually good. If you throw away the water after. If you don't, wala pa yun. So, the thing is, si ma'am, iba, si sir, iba. Everyone's gonna be different. So, the point of demoist is to standardize the stage. So, ang water namin, if you put two cups of... Um, Two cup or one cup, uh, two cups of or one cup of rice. You put the same amount of water. One is to one. No, not one is to one. Four is to one. Four water. Four water, one cup of rice. What happens? So isip ng mga tao, uh, it's gonna be too wet. Yeah. Malata. No, it doesn't happen because we drain out the water after, and we introduce the second stage of cooking, wherein they will demoisturize the rice out based on your settings. So in the settings, state, uh, settings panel, you can see softness level and moisture level. This is very, very unique. Even the advanced Japanese rice cookers cannot do this. Because everyone is practically the same. They introduce different materials. They introduce steam. They introduce pressure. But at the end of the day, the water is still there. The starch is still there. We're the only rice cooker that, that, take, that tackles the, the cooking of rice in a different way. Wherein we put an excess amount of water and we actually leak it and cook it again. Okay. So any questions so far? Okay. So again, we have test results to prove that. So I'm sure you wouldn't believe me if I just told you uh, it produces starch and rice. Of course not. You're not that stupid. No one would easily believe that. So Unipec is a Malaysian lab. It's ISO 17025 accredited which is accredited by the world, okay? So even that the Philippine FDA accredited this one already. So what happens? When we cook uh, rice in grains, there's a 65% reduction in amyloid pectin. You can see from 24.8 grams per 100 grams, it became 8.8 grams per 100 grams. For amylose, from 37.4 becomes 33.8. That's quite small. But why is it small? It's because we still need the amylose. For diabetics, you still need a little bit of starch, especially the amylose. Or else, wala kayong, parang kinain, parang minum lang kayong tubig, wala kayong kinain. So your blood sugar will still drop. So you need something to stabilize the blood sugar pa rin. So in terms of caloric decrease, it's around 80 to 20%. One thing we found out recently uh, is uh, Everyone here familiar with the term arsenic? Arsenic is a heavy metal, so it accumulates in our body. University of Belfast from Ireland actually proved, they got a rice cooker from us, they actually proved it already. Uh, using grains, you reduce arsenic content in rice by 80%. We're just finalizing the papers now, but you can see Google University of Belfast, you can see the results right away. 
So we've done the test, uh, sample test in one person. He's a male diabetic. Um, fasting rate at the start is around 140 uh, before eating rice. So the blue line is what happened when he ate regular rice. You can see it goes up, up to the 75th minute mark. It goes up to around 350, 340. Napakataasian, and cheaper yet. Then it suddenly goes down to around 270, and it goes back up, up again. So that's very bad if you're diabetic. But to fluctuate your blood sugar, mo, it's mataas. Now, the next day, we ask him to eat the same amount of rice, but this time taking his medicine, which is 1,000 milligrams of metformin. After taking that, it went down to around 170. That's the orange line. So considerably, obviously, it has to work. So it's a lot lower now. It's more stable. So the next day, we asked him, hey, maybe you can try grains rice. So he tried grains rice. That's the green line. So it's not as good as medicine, definitely. Because you're just taking out carbs. But you can see how close it is to the way metformin works. Okay? You can see it's more stable. There's less um, peaks. There are less peaks. But again, we took it to the next level. Is grains enough? Of course not. You can use it to supplement your um, diet and your medicine. So the next day, we just told them, just to make sure, only take half of your dose. So the, the yellow line so far is grains, rice, and 500 milligrams of metformin. So this is the best result he's ever had. Good news for him, he already lost 40 pounds. So if we use the AccuCheck meter, I know it's tested for uh, it, it, it's supposed to be testing blood, but you can actually test um, rice with it because it only tests the specific gravity, which is how dense your blood is, depending on how much um, sugar it's inside the is inside the blood. But if you put in um, rice mixed with water, you can actually see a 36 percent reduction in the specific gravity of grains rice as well. So there are many, 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 many ways to test the effectivity of grains. So what are the guaranteed benefits of grains? Number one, huge reduction of amyl pectin or the bad starch. Slight, very slight reduction of the good starch. It's a preventive measure for diabetes. It's an instant remedy. When I say instant, 15 minutes right after eating grains, you can already see the difference for blood sugar regulation. It's a tool for weight loss, but this one's going to take around one to two months before you feel uh, your weight uh, adjusting. Yeah. It could slow the aging process. There's been, there have been studies now, but I'm not uh, overclaiming the, pro the, the, the product. If, there, there have been studies already that uh, it slows down the aging process. I'm, I'm not going to push that. Last is longer lasting rice. Why is that? Uh, is anyone familiar here with sake? Yes. Uh, we have our local version of the tapuy, uh, which is rice wine. What happens with tapuy? It's actually the starch converted in, uh, converted into sugar by uh, amylase, what we call it, enzymes that convert the starch into sugar, and is digested by yeast to convert it into alcohol and uh, CO2. So, kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng beer, it's the same process. But the thing is, with rice, it's so high in starch, that it spoils easily, not actually just because of bacteria, but also because of yeasts. But the thing is, with grains, you're, you're reducing the amount of carbohydrates, you're reducing the amount of food that the yeasts can eat. So what does it mean? It means your rice will last longer. Okay. What does it mean when we say longer lasting rice? When we tested this, when you put when you leave grains rice three days out without putting it in the fridge, it, you can still eat it after. Usually, it's just one day it will spoil, two days it will spoil. It all happened on three days. In the fridge, it reached up to uh, three weeks before it started um, liquefying into sugars. Okay. So what are the features? Number one, as I mentioned, you can uh, adjust the settings. There's a moist, uh, moisture level and softness level. So it depends per client how uh, what the texture of rice they want. You can actually cook with different recipes. If I want to use this setting for California rice, I can do that. If I want to cook basmati rice, I can do that. 
So it's all different. Okay. So it's also capable capable of cooking other sources of starch. So you potatoes, couscous, uh, quinoa, whether any other. As long as it has starch, you can cook it there. But of course, you potato, you need to chop it. If you chop it, it's not the starch. It's also capable of cooking brown rice. Our advantage versus regular rice cookers is that when you cook brown rice, you usually have to soak it for one hour. With grains, you don't need to soak it. As you observe with our brown rice there, in our sample, you just put 20 for the softness level, for the default setting brown rice, it starts cooking right away. Yes, sir. Is that the same with red rice? Sorry? Red rice. Red rice, yeah. Anything, uh, red rice, forbidden rice, black rice, you can just adjust the settings. Because it's all customizable. But we suggest 16 to 20 for the softest level, as opposed to regular rice with 3 to 5. Of course, it's much harder to cook, so you need to, to boost up the settings. But the thing is, it takes the same amount of time to cook, which is around 40, 45 minutes. So you save actually one hour of your life every day. So it's different also. Variety of rice, different sets of... Uh, yes, different settings for different varieties. And, and different uh, percentage of amount of starch. Yes. For example, basmati rice is long grain. It already has a lower GI. So when you cook it with grains, probably the reduction will only be 30%, 35%. But if you're cooking short grain rice, which is very sticky or glutinous rice, the reduction could be about 40 to 45 percent. So it's better that you, you eat, you choose healthier rice um, um, varieties in the first place. But even if you don't, from high GI, the range from high GI will also be low GI at the end of the day. What, whatever rice you put in, inside could be in a certain high GI range, it's going to be in a lower GI range. Well, have you tested it with NFA rice? Is that what everybody's eating? Sorry? Have you tested it with NFA rice? NFA rice, we, 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 it's basically the same, but the problem with NFA rice is that it's broken. So, it's shoot in the colander and it's broken the machine. So, that's the only problem with NFA rice or with broken rice. But in terms of e effectivity, we know it will work. The problem is, the, the Philippine FDA does not know how to test. Only Malaysia and Thailand can test. But we agreed upon with FDA that if they cannot test, as long as we have test results outside and it's ISO 17025 accredited, they will accredit us. But right now we're undergoing our testing with USD as well. Pardon me, you said that. Uh, yes. Pardon me, uh, you said that uh, the uncut different sizes of the grains clogs the. Yes, yes. Why is that? Okay. Um, maybe I can show you how the rice cooker looks first. No? There's a colander inside. Dan, pakita lang yung colander. There's a colander inside. So anything that goes through the colander will, will jam. Will jam the, okay. the magnetic ball, which is what releases the excess starch. Okay? Can't you make it, uh, the hose more Sorry? smaller? Sorry? Can't you make the No. Hose? If we make it super small, smaller than this one, it will not um, leak at its maximum level already. So again, we have to sacrifice one thing, uh, focus on the better quality grains, because we assume people will be choosing better quality grains. It will not leak on the holes, but it will leak, it leak uh, if we, on the rice we cook, right? Sorry? Yeah, but the water and the, and the starch has to go through that colander. Oh, okay. After it goes through that colander, it gets flushed into this grain basin. So if it doesn't get flushed, and it gets stuck inside the colander, Whatever you cook inside, you will just eat it again. So that's the problem. Okay, thank you so much. No that. problem. You can ask uh, questions. Yes. Yeah. Sorry about that. No problem. No problem. So again, it's also cap uh, capable of cooking different kinds of starch. Sir, Sir mentioned, uh, what's the problem with smaller um, grains? If you put, for example, uh, anything that's powdery, like flour, it will just go through the colander. There's no point cooking that one. And obviously, there's no point in cooking bread. Uh, but noodles, you can cook. Other sources of grains, beans, you can cook bread. Um, as long as, um, for example, big, um, big uh, like potatoes, sweet potatoes, you have to cut them. Big and medium. Pasta. Pasta you can, but it won't be al dente. That's the disadvantage. 
Again, it's not utilized. It's meant for rice, for rice. not necessarily meant for pasta. But for pasta, you can cook it in case you're desperate. But it will not be al dente anymore. Okay. But, but pinoy spaghetti is not even al dente. Yeah. So I guess you can cook it there. So maximum of 2.5 cups of uncooked rice. Okay. So 2.5 cups it sounds small, but actually doubles five to six cups per person cooked. And you don't need to eat more than that. So uh, Warren, there's an internal memory board, for example, uh, I choose this setting. I don't have to change it again the next time I cook. It maintains that setting. So it's smart that way. So there's one year service and limited warranty. Um, for that, you can just check out the details once you purchase. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Sir Kevin, for introducing us grains, the revolutionary health rice uh, rice cooker. So now we come to the question and answer. So you can ask Mr. Uh, Coach Joseph and Sir Kevin, and they will be willing to answer your questions. Who wants to go first? Okay. Uh, okay, Sir Kevin. Sir, the price point. Yes, uh, the rice cooker is 27,000 pesos. Isn't it a bit high? But yeah, but again, let me ask you, do I have competitors who can do the same, who can claim the same? It's expensive because it works. So it's the same thing with insulin. Why is it expensive? Because it works. So again, uh, there's three months installment with your stance and with Atkinson, so we'll make it easier. And two years from now, after we reach uh, a certain point, we're planning to uh, release a cheaper model, which will be in the 15,000 peso range. That's probably two years from now. Why is that? Why, why does it take so long? Because the technology is very hard to develop. If everyone had money, it would be easy. But the point, the point is, it takes time and investments to improve the technology. So if we come, come up with a substandard technology, it wouldn't work. Same, same thing with your iPhone, right? That's why it's expensive at first, but it gets year of the chassis market, which is the adaptation stage. So right now, it's uh, a bit pricey, we understand, but later on, we will definitely launch a cheaper model and a commercial model, so that people who can't afford the rice cooker at home, they can go to restaurants and they can serve grains rice there for just the same price, and they can use the grains to go. So that's part of our advocacy. So the problem is we need to develop the technology first, which will take some time. So please bear with us. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, follow up with this question. Sir, follow up with this question. You were going to create a cheaper uh, units yes. para po siyang. Kaya para po lang po ba ng quality? Uh, definitely guy? not. Um, of course, when we made this product, yung stainless steel mo, it's definitely expensive. Uh, your colander is Korean, it's definitely expensive. The technology, the sensor, it has a computer inside, which is definitely expensive. If you look at the uh, uh, regular rice cooker, like 3D, on off lang uh, switchboard lang yun. This one has a motherboard inside, it has a computer that computes the time and the memory. So number one, is very expensive. So these things we're planning to sacrifice so that we can come up with a cheaper model for the, for the DCD market. But again, it's gonna take some time because uh, it's a very complicated machine. Hindi siya pwedeng basta-bastang gawin or else mami, it won't be as effective, right? So we don't want to launch something that's imperfect. So we're waiting for the for the right time to do it. Okay. That answered my question. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. How much electricity does it consume? Sorry? How much electricity? Ah, electricity. 350 watts. Very low. Very, very low. Uh, your your Zojiroshi is around 1,200 watts. Yeah, so, uh, but again, uh, our market doesn't really care about uh, consumption of rice cookers. It's a malit lang talaga. But uh, it helps, it definitely helps. And, uh, but again, the, the, the difference is, if you use a 3D rice cooker, for example, it can cook your rice in 25 minutes. Our disadvantage is that it cooks for 40 minutes. So you're 15 minutes longer, but uh, it's a small price to pay for the health benefits, I think, I believe. In terms of spoilage, uh, how long does the rice before? Uh, you're talking about regular rice? Yes. 
regular rice one day sira na yan usually unless you dry it uh, with unless you dry it from sinangat the next day uh, for this one it can last three days room temperature but we've tested that already room temperature we've tested that already kasi tinatanggal niya yung pagkain ng yeast eh. in the ref uh, it can last three weeks but I don't, I don't, I don't want to recommend but again mal malay mo yung <laughs> yung lugar niya may may ato pala may ibang yeah, bacteria yeah. or molds <laughs> that's not really it's really bad so I don't want to recommend that you do it but uh, usually we we found out three days is okay can you bake puto in that sorry can you bake puto puto or any other or, ano pa glutinous rice yeah. you can actually cook inside it's just a matter of how you do it ako uh, do we have a video ko ng nagluto ako <laughs> We have that video. Maybe you can show that video. Actually, Malaysia has been, uh, if you're familiar, they have glutinous rice um, dishes. Eh. Yung mga uh, palita, parang palitaw nila eh, the version. Um, they actually, on the on that's what, what, what they call it. They cook it inside, it also removes the starch. But again, if you uh, eat glutinous rice, it already has a naturally high glycemic index compared to white rice. So avoid it as much as possible. It helps. But I don't want to overpromise. Okay. And of course, uh, pag kumain ka ng palitaw, tapos you want it to be healthy, don't add white sugar after. <laughs> Same with your puto bumbong, don't add white sugar after. Because it defeats the purpose. Yun yung uh, nagkakamali yung consumers usually. That's why we want to correct it. If you want to, be, if you want to take your diet seriously, don't add uh, ano naman, white sugar after. Pardon yes, sir. Um, what removes the starch is basically the heat, right? The heat and the water at a certain temperature. Yes. No laser, no... No laser, no anything. It's simple. You can do it at home. I'll teach you how to do it at home, but it's going to take you three hours. So yeah. the, the question is, is it worth your time? For one press of a button, do I rather, would I rather buy the rice cooker? Or spend three hours every day just to cook my rice in the same manner? So we're selling here convenience. At the same time, uh, the effectivity. Because when you cook it, uh, manually, it doesn't guarantee it. Because obviously, you will lose some starch, but you can also lose amylose. Because amylose starts breaking down at 100 degrees. Eh. So the thing is, grains is guaranteed not to touch the amylose as much. Because it doesn't boil the rice cap. So again, if you have an immersion circulator at home... So if, you, if you're not boiling the rice, what do you do with the rice? Steam it? Or... No, no. We pasteurize it. We pasteurize the rice at 70 to 90 degrees, fluctuating. Sorry? Steam. No, no, no. Uh, it's low temperature pasteurization. Pasteurization, basically, uh, there's high temperature, there's low temperature. It just matters depending on the time and the heat. So, sa amin, it's low temperature, longer time. Is it the same as when you pasteurize cheese? Yes. There are several types of pasteurization. For example, UHT is ultra high temperature. For milk, uh, three seconds, four seconds at 200 degrees. Uh, fire, uh, 200 degrees Celsius could be like that, or 180 degrees Celsius. It depends. Um, for us, it's different. It's also pasteurization, but it's low temperature, uh, longer time. Any follow-up questions, sir? Uh, si ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Um, the dilemma of the mom or the How about the cleaning? Ah, okay. Can you bring one rice cooker here, please? Uh, do a slight demo, I guess. Uh, may I ask first if your mates will be cleaning or your person will be cleaning? Okay, it's very easy. So, uh, we'll just get a... Because with, with mates, it could be problematic if you don't teach it properly. Uh, we must admit, you have to teach every properly. It's the same way when they use a sojiroshi or a hirurong slow juicer. And it's the first time they're seeing it, it's hard to see. But for this one, it's basically simple. You take out this, this is the palander, which holds the rice, which is a guarantee that no matter what, what type of rice you cook, wala siyang tutong. So whatever you cook inside, you eat it. There's no wastage whatsoever. Next, you take out the stainless steel vat, which has the magnetic pole inside. You can see that, ito yung gaw -gaw, eh. You can see it. So it is the actual starch that's being leaked out. You can see some of them sticking there. That's usually the problem. If you don't clean it properly, it will jam. 
So what do we do? Ever use the scotch bright, the green side, you just put a bit of uh, warm water and soap, ang gawin na Because it's very white, just white, uh, with, with soapy water. And the green side of the scotch bright, not steel wool. Never use steel wool. And ang gawin na But if you don't clean it, the potential that it might jam the next time, that's that's problematic. So you really have to clean it. Uh, 2.5 cups. But it doubles to around 5 to 6 cups. 40 minutes, yes. So heating coil inside, you just um, wipe it, and then we have the drain basin under, which is that one. So now it contains all the starch. Just make sure you throw it away after using it. Because if you don't throw it away, and you cook another batch, it will overflow. So that's the only difference between the regular So it's an added step, but we believe it's worth, it's worth it. It's worth it. No, if you, put, if you don't clean it before. Because the water comes out in the drain basin after cooking, right? So, naturally, you have to remove this water, throw it away, put it back inside, and cook the next batch. If you don't, it will overflow. Okay, um, alright. So, grains being sold at Rustans, select stores of, of, of Abbotson. We have dealers in Cebu, we have dealers in Davao. Or you can order directly from our Facebook page. But uh, we have two dealers actually in the mouth. One is called uh, Southwoods and the other one is called Chinese Boutique. But they all sell at the same price. Yes, sir? Are you planning to manufacture a bigger model? Yes. So this is called the Fork 1.9. We're going to have a model called the Fork 10 and 3.8. That's, that, that's going to be four, four years probably. One is a 10 cup model, one is a 50 cup model. This one is a five cup one. So one is for a larger family, uh, the other one's for commercial use. Right? But the price point is not so big actually. Uh, not even double. It's just the case that we're changing. But the computer and the software inside is practically the same. So what's the point of us increasing the price? Again, we want it as an advocacy to the Filipino people. We don't want just to make we don't we're not here just to make money. It's the same with coaches principles. We're here to change lives, not just to make money. What is it gets uh, let's say broken? Ah, you can bring it to our service center. Yeah. Sorry? We have one here, Shovel. One in Bali Boulevard, one there, and one in Balitawak. How about the warranty? Warranty is one year. One year limited service and parts. Meaning if uh, for whatever reason, the Sira and rice cooker, we're gonna let you keep the colander and the accessories, but the whole unit will replace, except for the colander and the and the basin. Because these things, uh, they're not actually uh, electronic, so mostly electronic parts that need to replace. Of course, um, if there are cracks after usage, you can't replace that. It's not covered in the warranty. It's uh, part of the consumer's fault. Uh, question lang kay yes. coach. Coach, now that you yeah, naki, nakita mo na, na, na ano mo na what the rice cooker can do on your part as a fitness coach, what was what is your insight? Uh yeah, that's uh that's actually a good question. But uh, I I always uh, as I was discussing with Kevin a while ago, uh, not not one item is is uh, can be considered a magic bullet. So, or a cure all. So, my, uh, as, as I said a while ago as well, you know, we have a saying in the industry, especially in my practice, uh, that you can't build a house with a hammer, an entire house. So, it's never about the tool, it's about the system. So, it's basically a, uh, the complementing things that you would be doing and taking along with grains. So, grains actually gives you the advantage of, of uh, being able to lower your blood sugar and keeping it stable, and that's an advantage. Uh, if it does any in, in, um, in decreasing caloric intake, that's all well and good, but that is not the end all of your day. You, don't, you still have to exercise, you still have to eat other items that smartly and wisely along with it. So as I would say, uh, it's one tool, and that's good to actually have an option of that tool, but it's not an end all, so you got 
to be smart when it, it comes to complementing everything else going with grades. Hope I answered your question. Thank you. Thank you. Cut off vegetables. Vegetables. Can you cook vegetables? Sir, you can actually cook vegetables inside, especially uh, vegetables that are high in um, carbohydrates. Uh, potato, sweet potato, uh, cassava. You can actually cook cassava here. But um, again, sometimes you have to adjust the settings. If you put, example, broccoli here, overcook ang labas yan. So I don't want to overcook then, kasi baka masira yung vitamins, especially heat sensitive vitamins. So I'd suggest if you're cooking uh, broccoli, for example, I'd rather just steam it. Don't even put it here anymore. Uh, but, but for potatoes, definitely you can cook it here. Uh, it's very high in starch. So we want to get rid of the excess starch. But you can also do it uh, manually. You don't even need the rice cooker for that. For potatoes, you can just do it yourself. This is uh, spe specifically designed for rice. So for a consumer, I wouldn't sell this to you if you're not even eating rice, basically. The, the, this product is for rice eaters. I don't want to hard sell it to you. Uh, I'm eating potato. My diet is mostly potatoes, especially Westerners, for example. There's no point. They're, not, they're just not going to use the product. So I don't want to sell it to them. I'd rather focus on those who need the product, which is rice eaters. Those who can't get away from eating rice. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else who has a question or clarifications to Sir Kevin and Coach Joseph? So all of your questions have been answered already? Okay. Yeah. So I now give the stage to... Papa, I still have questions? Okay. So Ms. Abby will announce the winners first for right, so our So One last thing though. Um. So take the takeaway. Again, this is not a panacea. The whole point of this um, le lecture, the lecture is not a cure for everything. It's just here to help you. We are your friends, not your enemies. And it's always been the problem with the consumer. They want to disprove you so much that they don't want to study the science behind it already. What we want to do is, if you want to disprove us, we accept the challenge. But we want you to raise awareness regarding your own health. We want you to learn more about this, rather than just um, being a know-it-all, for example. So again, the take-home is, this is not a, a cure for anything, but this will definitely help you. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you.